Good evening. This is Pamela Tate Roger, and I am here tonight, and we are going to go over how to set up your email, excuse me, how to set up your website um, for Evolution Travel now that we all have to convert to the new websites. What you see here is the back office of my third leg. Um, this is the back office for myself and my daughter. Um, we just opened this site up. And so when you go into your back office, you'll see this is your dashboard. You wanna go down here to where it says, have you registered for the new travel booking site yet? It says to register, click here and enter your Evolution ID. Now what you would do is enter your ID number and then it'll say register. If you've already registered, you should click log in here. Um, for the sake of not getting caught up in things, I've already done that. And so I'm going to go on and click to what is going to be our view. What I'm going to be doing is reviewing this step by step. What you need to do is set up a profile. It also has a user guide. So this is what this first screen that you're going to see is here. And I've already done some pre-introduction things on this site. So um, you're going to enter your name. Um, we have a hyphenated last name. On some things it works with a hyphen, some things it does not. You're going to enter your C2Go ID number. I would do that except for we have not registered for a C2Go card yet on this account. Um, you're going to enter your email address. You're going to use your username. This is the name that you used on your Evolution site. Um, ours is Everything Travel. Enter your phone number. Enter an address. It will not go forward without an address being listed. Um, I did not wish to have that because I have a minor child. Um, city, state, zip, country. Now, we were working on doing an About Me paragraph about yourself. Um, and we did that for the webinar that I'm doing on branding and marketing. And we're currently working on creating our own web pages. And so we already had an about me listed. I'm going to go on and switch over to my personal page to review my about me, which says Pamela Tate Roger is a professional travel consultant and certified event planner who specializes in corporate events, group cruises, international group luxury trips and specialized art and wine tours through Europe. Now on Leah's, it says we are a dynamic daughter and mom duo who love to travel. Since my mom is a travel agent, she thought it would be a good idea for me to become one as well. Favorite trips, Leah's trips are Seoul, South Korea, but Orlando, Florida is a close second. Pam's favorite trip, Paris, France, and domestically, Washington, D.C. And let's see if I can scroll down here. Our travel specialty is family trips within the U.S. We look forward to assisting you. Um, Leah is going to be studying Legoland, and I believe she said she was going to attempt to tackle the Disney um, Disney components, but she won't be doing that until her spring break. Um, you are going to enter a password here, whatever your password is going to be. You're going to enter it once, and then you're going to confirm it twice. And if you want to add a photo, you can add a photo of either your logo, or you can add a photo of yourself. So what we chose to do here was one, you would just go into your files and select your photo. Um, and so what I entered was the picture of my daughter and myself. So you would just load something. And at this point, we're just going to load anything just for the sake of loading. But let me make sure I find my picture to put my baby back on her page. I'm not sure what I named this picture, so maybe I shouldn't do that. Um, but we'll get it figured out. You would find whatever the name of your picture file is, and then you would just hit open, which is going to load it in there, and that will be what's going to show up um, there. Now, once you've done this, you want to scroll all the way down, and this is your file. You just double check everything, hit update profile, and 
all of this information has been updated. So let's go over to where it says my booking portal here on the dashboard side. We're gonna click that. And it's gonna show us what currently shows on our website. So it shows myself and my daughter and it has the paragraph we just read. And then it goes through with client photo gallery, travel blog, which are pre-written blogs here that um, were submitted to Archer. If anyone wants to write a blog, you're welcome to submit that. Um, they are accepting blogs at this time. The company provides us with travel hot deals. These are always here. Um, then we have recommended trips. They have one that's already there. We have submitted our own, which is for Morocco. And um, we're going to go and go to our next steps to go back and review your own site as an agent. You would hit agent here. And it's going to go to this user guide, which is awesome. We've already done our profile. So now it's going to tell you how you can add photos into your gallery. Your photo gallery is a place for clients to upload their photos, or you can do that as well. Um, I personally like to get photos from my clients, and I um, showcase them on my pages. Um, and I do that also on my Facebook and other social media pages, just so that it, it kind of gets people to see that I am booking travel. These are real people, and they're enjoying their trips. So let's go into photo gallery. Now I've added a photo, and this is actually a picture of um, in Alaska, because I'm preparing to send a group of people to Alaska. They did an Alaska cruise last year with two people, and now we are planning for 16 people to go. Um, so now that's there. If you wanted to, um, these are what's currently in there. Now it says to click an image to edit, to approve, to remove or to delete. And currently I have no, un, no unapproved photos. So if someone wanted to submit photos, they go back into your booking portal. You can do this on behalf of yourself or you can have your clients do it. You have to approve it so nothing is gonna show up on your website until you actually select it and say, yes, we're approving it. So let's try this, upload a photo here. Um, I'm going to say Pam, I'm going to say location, San Francisco, um, 12 to 6, oops, here, let's just click on that date, and it gave it a date. Photo, we're going to go in my files and pick photos, um, and I always get a little wonky with photos because I keep too many, but not so many on this desktop. Let's see, we're going to click whatever it is because I don't even know what it is um, description and we'll put great pick we're going to hit upload oh wow it's actually still Alaska which is awesome um, this is one of my promo pictures for the flyer that I'm creating for Alaska so it's uploaded now this is what you see on the front face if it was loaded properly so we're gonna go back to our agent side and what we can do is hit photo gallery and it's going to show that this is here. And so it says we currently don't have any that are unapproved because we submitted this photo ourselves. It went right into our gallery. So let's go to back to the party, the booking portal and we should hit client photo gallery. And what do you see? We have our picture here of Alaska and then this is our other picture of Alaska so that's how you upload photos again your clients can do that simply by going onto your web page they enter it they can write any description they want to write about it we had a fabulous time we did blank we did blank and then it's going to come over to you and what you're going to do is go into your agent portal hit that photo gallery and you will either remove it if you thought it was not appropriate or you didn't like what they posted. And then if you'd like to delete it, you can hit delete. Otherwise, you would approve it. 
Now, let's go down and look at specials. Um, you can add, you can feature up to two specials on your travel page. If you do not feature at least one, they will provide a special for you that will be periodically updated. Well, I entered my own special. Now, this is something that I put together with Go Away, which is a trip to Morocco. And we're gonna do another one and say Hong Kong. Um, and we'll say Hong, Hong Kong again. And departure date, let's see, you can tab there and it'll give you an actual calendar. So we're gonna say February 13th, and then we're going to come down here and we're saying we're gonna depart on February the 27th. That's a two week trip, that's pretty awesome, right? And let's say we had five spaces available. Let's type in five, um, great time first off I should spell great correctly great time in Hong Kong join us price per pace per person let's say twenty six hundred dollars oops like a dollar sign there and actually it will not take dollar signs that's right you just enter the actual numbers Choose your photo, and I have Hong Kong and Thailand already there because I have a flyer created. And I see I have a typo here, so we'll fix Hong Kong. And location is Hong Kong, and I forgot about Thailand. So the file has been chosen, as you can see there, and we're gonna hit Create. And what it's going to do is add a second special onto our page. This is a pretty great um, feature that we didn't previously have. And so when you look at my page now, you see I have two specials listed. This is awesome. Now let's see what it looks like on our front facing customer page. Going back over to our actual booking portal. And you see here that it's got our Morocco trip. And it's showing us learn more. I'm not seeing where my secondary trip is. Um, I might have to call Kevin and ask him about that because I would have thought both of them would show or it would toggle where you can um, scroll to the right or the left. And it's not, but you do get to do two featured trips. I'm not sure where the second one went, but it was very easy for you to add it. And so if you'd like to do that, I, I suggest that you, you know, if you're featured or doing any type of group travel or any specific thing that you're pushing, you want to enter that there. We're going to go back to our agent page now. When we pull on to that page, it's going to go automatically to our user guide. I guess I didn't press the button hard enough. Sorry, my wrist is bothering me tonight. So we've gone through our photo gallery, we've gone through our specials, and now let's look at this subscribers. I love this feature. When contacting you through various contact forms on this site, visitors will be asked if they want to be updated regarding information about your travel specials. So we're gonna look at two really, really cool things with that. Subscribers, I currently have Celia, because she did my original webinar with me. And let me show you why I have Celia here. There are a couple of really great features that we now have on our pages, and um, we're just gonna run through it. So we're gonna go back to our front facing page, except for, oops, that was my Savor the World page. So we wanna go on the Leah and Pam page. Booking portal. So it's gonna take us back to our original front facing page for customers. waiting for that to load, so I apologize for the delay time. Hmm, it looks like it stopped because I'm seeing an X. Let's actually load this fast or not stop loading it. Um, it's moving a little slow, and if it doesn't come on in a second, I'm gonna switch, there we go. So, as we're going through here, there were a couple of really great things that I really, really appreciated about this. With our new page, we have something where it says vacation quote request. Um, this is a pretty great feature. 
Um, now I'm just referring people to my page. If they say, hey, I'm interested in a trip, I go, great. Let me have you go to my vacation quote request. So let's click that. We're going to open up our vacation request, and you're going to type in your name. So let's go Pam. And we did take Roger, and that will just give me everything. When do you plan on traveling? Let's say Feb through Wary. Um, 2019. Number of people in my party? Four. Are my dates flexible? Yes. Then it gives you a whole list of what we currently are using as our referral form. I usually have to take this information from people by hand. Um, so we're just going to click off what they want. They are interested in doing a river cruise. And what kind of vibe are they looking for? Let's go with romantic. Um, because it's during Valentine's Day. What activities are you interested in? Let's say um, gambling, um, nightlife, dining. And what are our room preferences? Are they interested in an ocean view, an ocean front, a garden, an inside cabin, an outside cabin, balcony, or a suite? Well, let's say we are interested in a balcony. And um, we'll hit next and see what pops up next. Well, would you like, um, what would you like included in the booking? Let's see, we would need air, because it's a river cruise. That means it's going to be in Europe, and this is something along the Mississippi River. We'd want airport transfers. Um, obviously, we should get there a night in advance, because you don't want to get there and miss your um, port call. Um, something with meals included, eh, not so much, but if we can get it, great. If alcohol is included, clearly you're going to have to pay for that. So if you did like an all-inclusive for a night, that would be great. Um, and say staying for three days prior to cruise. Budget per person. Let's go with fifteen to 2500 Duration of days, we're going to say 710. And actually, I probably am too low on that budget, 2500 to 5000. Um, resort preference, do you want a standard, um, which is like a three star, a deluxe is their four star in Europe, and then a luxury will be a five star. Let's go with deluxe. If applicable, which size car, we're not renting a car, we don't need to include that. Um, party details. I'm traveling with two couples. So our couples are 20 to 59 years of age, and one is a military person, and we are traveling. Let's see, what are we traveling for? Birthday, anniversary, honeymoon, um, destination wedding, destination bachelorette party, bachelor party, family reunion, or a company incentive or reward travel. Let's say a birthday, and we're going to put on here 50th birthday so we want you know they want you to know this is a special trip so we're gonna hit next any final things that we're missing are we missing anything what else would you like us to know about your party your budget or your travel preferences um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna use my friend Doug because I just booked his honeymoon and he is six foot five um, so we are going to say um, one person is six foot five. So no economy seating. Um, and then he tells us immediately, he's like, you know, do not cram me into seats because he's oversized. He's just got really long legs. So we're going to put that on there. I prefer to be contacted. You have a choice or your customers have a choice. They can be contacted by email. They can be contacted by phone because they've listed both of these on here. Or you can say either. Let's hit either. And this little button here that says contact me about specials is basically them giving consent to being on your mailing list. Let's submit this. Now, the thing that I love about this, this is so amazing, um, except for I feel bad. I think I put the right email address. I'm praying I hit the right email address. Um, if so, I think I entered it as Savor the World Travel. And I might have done it as my actual original. I did. I did it as Savor. Nope, that's a new agent. I apologize for that. Um, I must have did it as my other email address. But these things come 
instantly. Um, it says, thanks, we'll be in touch. Literally, that email comes in less than a minute. And I'm sorry because I didn't do the right um, email. So we'll just do it again. And I'm going to really not answer all these questions because I really think it's important that you see how fast um, these things come. It's, it's amazing how fast they come. And actually, that is saying, Savor the World. Let me see if I refresh this. Did I get an email? I have a lot of windows open, so I'm hoping that that's the problem because it's kind of clinging here and, um, and finishing out this. No. Okay. It did not. Well, we'll go back here. When do you plan on traveling? I'll say Feb 2019. I'm not going to do all this stuff again. Next, um, Hawaii, off the beaten path scuba ocean view sorry i just want to get through this really quickly so you can see how quick this email comes like i say i'm extremely impressed by it it was very very fast it's like less than two minutes and i love it because this is a place where people can put all their information in and they're going to say what they're doing and the only thing I'm thinking now is because I already have somebody in the mailing list with this email address. And I'm wondering if that's the reason why it didn't send me this duplicate because it's a different person's name. But let's see. Um, thanks. We'll be in touch. Come over here. I believe it's reading the same email and it's not going to send it over. I should have opened up my daughter's email, but I don't want to do that. At any rate, I assure you, it is extremely fast. It's like less than two minutes, um, and it will tell you, hey, um, and it gives you a printout of the entire quote. And so what I can do is show you that because um, that was just Friday, if I'm not mistaken, and it was pretty quick. Actually, it was Tuesday we were doing it. Here we go. Join us in Morocco. This is crazy. This is, hey, Celia. And this was the message that we did as a dummy message to kind of just show what was going on and how to do your quotes. Um, let's see. It's like there was a second one. It looks like I can't find it, so maybe not. Um, but it came so lightning fast. It was absolutely crazy. Um, and I had Celia on and she was like, man, that was so fast. Literally, it was like less than two minutes. So in our subscribers, let's go back to that. That's probably the problem. All three of these are listing the same email address. But let's not. Okay, subject, help. And... Morocco. Oh. And email. It's going to email everybody on your mailing list this quickly. It's saying it's waiting. It's done, right? Now, hopefully, it'll do it. There we go. Hello. And you saw how fast that was. Hello. I typed the word help. That was the message title. And it says, Leanne Pam Tate Rogers sent you the following message Morocco. That is literally what I just typed. Do you see how fast that was? So now anytime someone opts in for your list, this is where it's going to be. Now let's go down to the next step is commissions. We have no commissions. Now if you want to submit a commission, this would be where you would enter your commission tracking form. Pretty cool, right? Make sure you enter your c to go card number so that they can actually pay you we want them to pay you, correct? Awesome. So we've seen the commissions. I don't have any because this is a brand new account. Then we see our commission tracking form. This is where you would enter all of your commissions that you booked. I'm not going to hit back office because it actually takes you back to your original back office and I don't need to do that. Hit Travel Cafe. Now, Travel Cafe is your best friend. As a travel agent, there are three things that you should really get familiar with. Google. 
I look up everything on Google. I look up a country and then I go, now let me see what type of hotels and environment are around um, Google when I'm doing that. Then I go to Expedia tap and look and see if it can be found on Expedia tap. I always look at Expedia tap first because I just want to kind of gauge pricing. And then at that point, I will look in the travel cafe and see, is there a vendor specifically that works with that? If it's a vacation package, you can come to vacation packages. Apple vacations is a top priority. Blue sky is my Hawaiian go to classic vacations. Um, if you're doing Europe, you do the Europe Express. If you're doing Holy Lands, obviously you're doing a Holy Land. Uh, Picasso has multiple places. Tahiti Legends has multiple places. Um, Travel Impressions has multiple places. Vacation Express is for Caribbean type cruises and, and trips. Women's View, these are specializing in women's trips. Club Med, everyone knows about Club Med. Globus does Europe. They also do Asia. They also do Africa. Um, Pleasant Ho Holidays does some of everything. Southwest is a way to connect and do your trips with Southwest. Um, and they're also owned by the Mark Company. Let's see, they're all these things here. Go Away Travel, um, Sandals, if you're looking for a Sandals Resort specifically. Um, if you're looking to do European Travel Gafar is another one. Funjet Vacations is worldwide. Um, African Travel, I've been doing a lot of, I've done two trips to Africa. I've completed a Casablanca, Casablanca, in Morocco trip, sending another small group of people to go in a few months. And then now I'm working on a group for 10, going to Ghana, Tanzania, and Johannesburg for Christmas and into the new year. So African travel is working out really well. Um, and so we're going to go back now to our back office. And the next thing would be log out, but we'll hit our booking portal. And let's check that out. And this is your finished product. It took less than five minutes if you didn't do all the extra steps, but I figured since we were in here, why not look around and see what was available to you on this website and the features that your clients are going to, going to get to really enjoy. For yourself, you have travel resources. It tells you about FAA flight delays, currency conversions, um, currency conversion cheat sheet to create one, time zones, metric conversion calculator, um, weather forecasts around the world, U.S. custom service alerts, world heritage sites, authorizations for minors to travel, um, this luggage free shipping service, um, CDC travelers um, health alert alerts, TSA permitted and non-permitted items. You have the U.S. State Department travel advisories. Check those frequently. Provide your clients with this website. Really important because what they can do is see if anything has changed in the world where they're traveling. Um, this is to get or renew a passport. This tells you your document requirements when you're traveling. This is international travel information, tips for traveling abroad, U.S. embassies and consulates. Do not ever send a client out of the country without giving them the telephone number to the U.S. embassy. Have them put it in their phones and also make sure that they have downloaded the WhatsApp application to be able to make those telephone calls with minimal charges um, if they have not opted to get an international telephone plan. And this is the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. This is also really important. It's a great way for you to be in contact or your clients to be in contact with their local U.S. embassy wherever they're traveling so that they are aware that they're in that country. And if anything should go wrong, they've registered that they were in that country as a United States citizen. So this is our brand new Evolution Travel website overview. Um, this is how you set it up. Wishing you all lots of fun as you do that. Um, continue to book, and I look forward to seeing you all on the beaches of the world. I'm Pamela Tate Roger, Gold Consultant, San Francisco, California. Have a wonderful evening, and thank you again for joining me.